All right, this is the uh, 67 to 72 C10, C20, and possibly the C30 uh, windshield wiper motor bench check. Uh, what we're going to do is, since I couldn't find a YouTube video on this particular one, I'm just going to make this one and put it up there. Anyway, uh, what I'm trying to do here is just check the motor to see if it is still good to go ahead and uh, put back up underneath the dashboard. If not, we'll, we'll buy a new one. Uh, this may look a little different than what you have, uh, only in that uh, this here has been uh, removed here uh, to, just to make things easier. This is the, uh, uh, the pump and mechanism uh, for the windshield washer uh, uh, system which we will not be reinstalling uh, you can see that uh, this here uh, this here fits into this cam and uh, uh, pumps pumps it back and forth uh, <clears throat> so uh, we'll put that aside because uh, that's not what we're uh, we're working on <clears throat> now the hookup for this 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 windshield wiper uh, motor sits underneath the dash pretty much in this configuration uh, I'm sure there's other stuff out there uh, you have the uh, three blades and then uh, the uh, the main uh, the main ground uh, from top to bottom uh, this is your main hot end okay uh, this is your uh, high speed ground and this is your low speed ground and again, this one is just the main uh, frame ground. If you look closely, you can see that even though this is all rubber mounted, there is a ground strap that uh, comes off of the metal here and goes to the main frame and grounds it to the firewall of your truck. Now, to, uh, in order to check the, the high speed, <clears throat> let's go ahead and uh, uh, ground the, uh, the main frame. Put the main frame over here. So it's kind of out of the way. There we go. <clears throat> and we'll go ahead and the white being the high speed, we'll put that there on the ground. And then we'll go ahead and touch. And, and you notice you notice it's, uh, it's spinning. So we know that the motor is good in high speed. Now in order to get the low speed, you hook up the green in conjunction with the white. So both grounds are hooked up. And you'll notice that it... Uh, uh, spins slower for the low speed okay <clears throat> now we'll go ahead and uh, clip that on there and let that spin for now <clears throat> now uh, when, you, when you're turning these things on and off with the dash switch it, it, it goes from off to low to high and when you turn it off of course it goes the other way now since we're in low what the switch does is it <clears throat> is it ungrounds uh, the high speed ground so if we un undo the high speed ground you notice it kept it kept turning well that's the park mode let me make that uh, a little bit nicer here so everybody can see that there's the park mode so if we hook that back up let her spin and take it off it'll come back right to that spot and again right to the spot okay See, even if you're way up here, it'll go to that spot. Now, that's telling me that the park mode <clears throat> in this uh, wiper motor is working. This is just a bench test, so uh, it's already been cleaned up, and it'll go back up underneath the dashboard and probably get it, give another 48 years <clears throat> worth of service because this one is the original one from the truck in 1972. Uh, again, if we take the, the slow ground off, we'll, we'll do it here this time, and you notice there's high speed, and there's low speed. And then, of course, if we take the high speed ground off, it'll, it'll go to the park mode. So we know that this is 100% working. And hopefully this helps because I could not find this on YouTube to do a quick bench test on this. Uh, anyway, that's it. It's uh, pretty simple. 
it probably will work uh, on the uh, single speed ones uh, but this is a two speed and uh, this will go back underneath the dashboard of the uh, C20 uh, shop truck that we have and uh, be put back into service. All right, everybody have a good one, and I hope this helps you out.